Hi, good afternoon, everybody. Uh, so I'm delighted to be with you this afternoon to talk about understanding case credits. Uh, but before, let me tell you a little bit about my background. So I left school at 16. I didn't have any qualifications because I knew I was walking into my dream job to play football. I was really excited because it's all I wanted to do from a really young age. I had two great years with the football club because I was living my boyhood dream. As well as playing football every day, I learned some great school, uh, core skills early on. Being part of a team, turning up every day, giving 100% because we all wanted to be part of that starting 11 on a Saturday. Then after two years, I got a call to go and see the manager. Stuart, we're not keeping you on. I was gutted, my dream job had just ended. But as we know, life goes on and I found another football club and I dropped down into the non-league scene. I had 10 great years, created some wonderful memories with some great FA Cup runs. But at 24, I realised I needed to start thinking about my future and what I was going to do. Part-time football was great, but I realised it wasn't a secure future for me or the family. So I joined a local transport company as a transport router, and after a few years of working really hard, I'd climbed the ladder to operations manager. I did work really long hours, but I did take huge pride in the responsibility of running a fleet of vehicles. However, it was dawning on me that this was as good as it was going to get, and I'd reached my pinnacle in my salary and with any further promotions. So when we joined in 2012, it literally was just for a few extra hundred pounds to help our monthly income. Rebecca instantly saw that this could be do through, done through the retail. She recognised that for every clean line she sold, she would make about £35. And that's how we, we built and coached the business in the early days. Because for us, it was about generating an income from the retail. We very quickly caught on that if we could sell six clean nines at 0.7 case credits at the time, our 4cc would be done just in retail. But more importantly, we'd have, we'd have that extra £300, which also attracted a lot of our friends and family to look at the potential of the marketing plan so they could earn a few extra hundred pounds themselves. But did anybody really understand what a case credit was or did you just nod in at the planning meeting like, just like I did? Well, it's okay if you're new and still getting to grips with it today. It took Rebecca several months to understand it and she hasn't done too bad at the business. So let's start with basically understanding what a case credit is. The case credit is Forever's own internal currency. We use a CC to measure business growth and sales volume here in the UK, but also allow us to measure and track our business sales globally too. The sales volume is referred to as case credits, or CC for short, for retail sales, personal use, and for sponsoring people into the business. Each of our products have attached to them a case credit value, and that value is pretty much the same all over the globe, so we don't have to work out any currency conversions when we build internationally. So the more volume or sale of product that goes through your business, the more case credits your business will generate. And I think the easiest way to explain it, it's a bit like a, a loyalty card. The more points you gather on the card, the bigger the reward, gift or incentive is offered to you from that company. So the bottom line is, the more case credits that go into your business, the bigger rewards forever offer you with marketing plan promotions and incentives. And I found that putting it across like that seems to be a little bit more well received understandable and sounds straightforward. As we know, one case credit in the UK wholesale is £166 and £237 retail, giving us £71 profit from the retail side of the business. With your personal bonus on top, depending on where you are on the marketing plan, this can also give you an extra £50 to £170 profit from doing your four case credits. So somebody brand new, an assistant supervisor just starting out, he or she could be earning an extra approximately £330 retail profit from doing your four case credits. So if you purchased a FIT program, for example, your business will be credited with just over one case credit of sales volume. But we can also generate the same case credit through purchasing a variety of other products, and this will also credit your business with one case credit, with the total retail profit being very similar at the full recommended retail price. Rex and Forever have given us an incredible marketing plan designed around the simplicity of four case credits, which means that we can have a lot of people doing a little as opposed to the traditional way of working, especially in the current climate where there are a few people doing a lot, lot more work to earn a living. 
Now, this is not to say that generating 4 case credits will always be easy, and there'll be times that some people at different, po different points in their journey will find it harder than others, but a whole marketing plan is designed around creating a consistent monthly habit, coaching others to do exactly the same based on being a product of the product, talking passionately to everybody, developing your product knowledge, and providing excellent customer care. Being 4CC active builds confidence, self-belief, and that self-belief allows the business owner to go on and coach others to do exactly the same. It becomes a discipline that carries recognition because we're rewarded here in the UK for doing 4K credits at three months, six months, and 12 months. Why do we need to be, or why is it so important to be 4CC active every month? At the beginning of your journey, it's about developing that discipline so you can secure a regular income and be able to coach others to do it with confidence too. As your team and business develop, 4CC Active ensures that you can move through the marketing plan, receive a monthly team leading bonus and qualify for all those incentives, such as Chairman's Bonus, Car Plan, Eagle Manager and the Global Rally itself. This will also give business owners peace of mind knowing that their sponsor is also doing exactly the same to earn their team leading bonus too. So at the first planning meeting, I think it's very important to show a new business owner why 4CC is important. Show them how to do it, particularly because case credits will not mean anything to a new business owner, whereas pounds and pence and how to make a profit through the retail will. That's why hundreds join forever, is to make an additional income, particularly when the average disposable household income is about £218 a month. So retailing our fantastic products can quickly make that profit with launches and recommendations for daily and personal products to family and friends. So, <coughs> creating retention of customers is vital, and your best customers should be you. And that doesn't mean you have to spend hundreds of pounds on products, because as a new business owner, they probably won't have the money. But what I explain is that with the profit you're going to make back from your retail, some of this should be invested back into your business with using new products just like a traditional vi business will invest back into their company with new equipment, tools, software to help their business grow. Showing your new team member that personal use is important and creates sales, case credits and confidence is vital. Through my own personal use of the sports products, this is how I developed a cust customer base at the gym and it wasn't until several months later when I completed the clean iron, sales were starting to develop from that. So we look at the range and see what appeals to a new business owner, maybe between seven to ten products, and we work out what they'd like to try over a period of time as they will feel more comfortable straight away recommending the products that they enjoy, believing and could benefit their network too. Developing your customer base of around 20 customers spending about £50 each will develop that, that sustainable part-time income, but we can also break it down and show them in more detail this will have benefits as now they can see where and how to start to build that retail income. So to give you an example, this was taken from a post off the team page a couple of weeks ago and adapted by some of the fab managers in our group. We asked what the most consistently retail products business owners sold. We took the seven uh, products that enables to give the business owners an indication of where those products were. So now we can look at the number of sales how we can generate those four case credits, but more importantly, how we can help generate that £300 from the sales. You know, one customer might buy a drinking gel, tooth gel, and a shake, generating close to that average spend of £50. We have then the high-end consumable goods like the Clean 9, and now maybe after they finish the program, they can continue using the products that come in the Clean 9 box if a fit program is not a follow-on option at the time. So that covers the products, but how do we get them into our customers' hands as new business owners? So we've got through the variety of put boxes to cater for different marketplaces. Who would benefit from using the products and what products we could put into a put pack? We chat about product launches for family, friends and local businesses, such as salons and gyms, local events and fairs, and about the benefits and having of carrying the products and samples with them at all times, because it's better to be prepared for the opportunity than miss it. How we look after customers and not being afraid to upsell when they are ordering. We go through and ask for how to ask for customer referrals when they're also building their customer base. 
Part of creating that 4CC habit, we'll be sponsoring new people into the business. New business owners will see the potential in the retail, of course, which will create stability. But for business growth, promotions and incentives, we have to introduce people to the business. So with the combination of retail, personal use, and just over two case credits from sponsoring two people a month into the business, we can now show a new business owner how they can go on and develop a large organization. Consistently sharing the opportunity will bring self-confidence, will bring confidence and self-belief. But this is a skill that takes time to develop through lots of practice, lots of upline support to approach prospects, but most importantly, they start to master the 4CC discipline. We can show them how to achieve those goals that they've put down in the first steps to manage a booklet, and it all starts with doing four case credits. So thank you very much. Thank you.